Hi, Dick Rochford here, board uh, radian 952, pop up mic. We're on our way to NOS Field, Alto Victor Oscar today. From uh, San Diego, Gillespie. And we're up level at flight level 280. Smooth air. And we're right down the engine condition trend monitoring. So if you haven't been doing that, consider it. Here's what I recommend to do that. Right, five two, Papa Mike. Contact LA Center one two eight point three seven. One two eight point three seven nine five two. Papa Mike. That was thirty five zero nine. LA Center, America 2018, flight level 370. American 1218, Elsa Rudder. Hi, Center, Meridian 952, Papa Mike, flight level 280. Number 952, Papa Mike, Elsa Rudder. Center, Rise 2360, 187, climbing, flight level 230. 2360, Elsa Rudder. Promise not to. I think you missed a call here. Um, so the ECTM gets written down for a couple of reasons. One is uh, it's useful information for the mechanic once you have uh, been flying a while and have some data. And uh, it's also good for resale value because you're keeping cycles here as well. And all turbine aircraft should have a cycle log. So that's all dialed into one here. The other thing that I recommend that you do is keep a VOR cross-check log, which, as you may know, is a requirement. And here in the back of the book is uh, such a log. And uh, we'll be doing that next. Urban aircraft uh, run warmer than piston aircraft, but it's also true that heat is cumulative and there is a proper amount of heat uh, that should be uh, present in any fuel burning engine at Whitney gets to decide what that is good morning just as a, an aside I, it's it's almost uh, a little bit embarrassing to have to mention but uh, some folks run to temperature by that I mean Pratt Whitney says that 770 770 degrees is the uh, maximum continuous temperature. Uh, pilots think that once they've set up for cruise, they can push the power up until the ITT maxes out at 770. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Designers meant for that to be the temperature at which you should not exceed, the temperature at which you should not exceed on a run out engine. So if you you know, a little engine like this, if you do that, you won't run the risk of running up against an overhaul early. So that's another thing that this will do for you is choose a, a mechanic that understands that. You can see a trend in temperatures and time your recovery washes accordingly. Uh, Dick Rochford, I safely. Train off it. Horizon 2405, climb maintain for 300.